Welcome back to Boiler House Garage and to part 9 of our video series testing super unleaded petrol for its octane rating. By default this will also test to see if the petrol is ethanol free as I can only test 100% petrol for octane and not ethanol blended fuel. In today's video we're at a BP garage, this one's on Haley Road in Whitney, West Oxfordshire. Uh, this is also the first 97 octane uh, super unleaded we've tested in this series. Uh, I personally don't use BP for reasons that I'm going to go into uh, on a standalone video in the new year. So let's get back and find out if BP Ultimate Super Unleaded is in fact 97 octane and of course it's ethanol free So I have to mention on a uh, separate uh, issue from the uh, problem I have with uh, BP, uh, so even today going to that uh, Haley Road um, station, uh, they're Customer services, they always seem to be really rude, the staff there, as the, uh, getting this was a, a chore, so I've pulled up a, a, a pump, uh, I've put this on the on the floor as you're supposed to, I've put the 97 BP ultimate in there, I'm waiting, and then all I hear, I hear some, the, the pump's not starting for a while, and then over the tablet I basically just hear, so the, the lady behind the counter, I look over at her, I can see she's looking at me, she's trying to tell me something that I can't hear, because the, speakers for the tannoy of uh, the fucked. And so I, I assume a lot of garages now, they, they, seem, they seem to take issue with people filling up uh, fuel cans. They, they only seem to want you to put it in your car and that's it. So I assume she just wanted to check the uh, that this was a, a properly rated petrol can. So uh, it's empty by the way. So I go into the, the shop, whatever you call it, and uh, start to queue. Then another member of staff starts having a go at me for having this on me, saying that, oh, you, you should, you, you have to leave that outside. There's no, oh, excuse me, sir, but can you please take, no, it's, it's just uh, rudeness. So, but it, it, it served me because uh, basically I was waiting in the queue to try and speak to the, this lady to find out what she wanted. Uh, and I, I just said to her, oh, well, the, the lady at the two was trying to communicate with me, um, but the, the speakers are knackered, so I couldn't hear what she was saying. And then the lady at the counter just said, oh, I just needed to check what fuel container you're using. So, yeah, they've contradicted each other uh, there. And I just said, oh, it's a, it's a proper um, a proper fuel can. They're showing her this one. And she said, oh, OK, that's fine. So, yeah, I went back outside. I had to move the car because now the one that was in front of me has is, now is, got a vacant pump. Uh, so I've moved the car forward, um, I filled this up fine, uh, I'll obviously leave it in the boot of my car uh, and I queue up and um, the lady behind the counter was at least partially apologetic just saying that oh she couldn't see what I was filling but of course that's, I'm a customer, that's not that's not my problem, They they should if they've got CCTV there they should be able to see what I'm doing anyway so uh, but anyway, yeah. So yeah, she she did at least uh, sort of say sorry for that because uh, she couldn't see what I was filling. I said sorry, I couldn't hear. In fact, I think I I kept the phone rolling for that because I wish I kept it going for when the uh, rude staff member was in there because I could have uh, uh, at least made her slightly famous. But I love uh, pump number one for me, please. Eight pound and ten. That's sorry about that, but oh, no I can't. I can't see from here. Oh, I, I couldn't hear either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it wasn't looking good, was it? <laughs> no. Do you need your receipt? No, that's fine. So, if it's gone through. Yep, yep. lovely. Thanks very much. This isn't an isolated uh, sort of uh, incident either. I remember during the uh, time that I can't mention on YouTube without getting some sort of uh, censorship happening, but uh, circa 2020 to 2021, they they had like this traffic light system above the doors to not allow over well 10 people or whatever, for example, into a um, into the shop itself, which uh, I ignored if the light was on red and there was nobody else there I'd ignore it and obviously walk straight in but the yeah if there were other people queuing outside to try and get in uh, and it was on red obviously I couldn't barge past the queue so the amount of times I pulled up to BP's um, at, the, at the job I was working at at the time and just had to turn away because I couldn't stand being made to stand outside in the cold um, for some you know idiotic pseudo-scientific reason and uh, even today, the uh, the store still got these silly social distance. Oh, I shouldn't mention that. This this distancing stickers and that on the floor, uh, which is a, a reminder of those uh, stupid times. And a BP by Benson, and uh, there. So the, the petrol station's open. Everything's open. I'm doing a job where I'm actually delivering hire cars, and uh, in the early part, at least, there was still business there, and it was still. Uh, counted as essential work, let's say, and then 
Uh, but of course I had to wash the car and of course uh, you, you have to wash and have the car provided clean uh, with fuel in it and of course we do that at the at the petrol stations refuel run it for a car wash and it can be delivered to a customer um but you know, i went in there and asked for a car wash and uh, the lady there was extremely rude about it, it wasn't oh i'm ever so sorry sir the uh, the car wash is closed due to uh, uh, bullshit a b and c but um, it, it was just this really hostile, oh no, you can't use that because it's not as counted as an essential need. And um, it, it's, it's just this uh, yeah, ongoing rudeness that uh, BP, uh, BP's uh, staff just seem to have. And I'm not sure if anybody else has experienced this in different parts of the country. They, they might be uh, completely different and it might be SO stations, let's say, that have got the rude staff. But, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's just an issue that I, I wasn't going to mention, but because I had uh, trouble buying this today, uh, it was a bit of a nightmare anyway, because I started filming. I would have just had enough time had they just dispensed the fuel and let me pay and make the recordings uh, in front of the forecourt. Uh, but of course it was the school run, and there's a school right opposite that BP garage, so I had to wait in the car for half an hour for all of the uh, school rush to be over with, um, because otherwise I couldn't film anything because it was too busy, noisy, and there's kids walking past, that's what we shouldn't really be filming anyway. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it was just a, a complete nightmare. Well, not nightmare, but it's an exaggerating, but it was a ball ache to uh, get this. And I just thought to mention it in case anybody else has experienced this with BP. Uh, like I say, it, it's a separate issue for the main reason I don't use BP fuel, which I'll do a standalone video, because uh, this is another topic which YouTube tend to take issue with and censor a lot of videos. So at least this video can be a, a complete one separate, uh, uh, separate from any potential censorship. So. Uh, yeah, let's go on with it and find out what uh, octane rating, whether this meets uh, a 97 RON, uh, let's find out. So this is our standardised uh, testing method. I always use the same volume of fuel in the same container, uh, just so that the octane test is always in the same position, uh, consistent with each uh, fuel type. Uh, what we've previously seen is uh, the Tesco momentum exceeds its uh, 99, advertised 99 octane, uh, Shell V power exceeds it. Uh, alarmingly, SO Synergy Supreme 99 is considerably lower uh, than 99 octane. It's actually uh, the last few samples are 93 octane. It's still an open theory, but I'm pretty sure this is what's going on. They that uh, basically they supply all of the base fuel as 93 uh, RON, and then the added ethanol is supposed to boost the octane. But of course, in the areas in the south that don't have the ethanol blended into super and leaded. SO haven't taken that into consideration, but uh, that's something that's go going to be doing in the new year, so I'm going to be trying to uh, obtain, uh, so if I don't get any uh, samples uh, sent in, I'll uh, probably just do a trip to the, uh, sort of, not northeast, but the the northeast of the Midlands, uh, let's say, of Middle England, then to uh, see what's happening there, just to see if uh, they too have, have 93 octane ethanol free uh, super unleaded uh, so synergy supreme uh, but anyway back on to the uh, yeah, topic of uh, bp ultimate uh, so this is 97 octane uh, so it's only has to uh, meet or exceed that and it does we have 98 ron uh, so i did mention it in a previous video but the uh, quality standards for fuels oh, uh, 98 RON and over, at least if it's advertised as 98 uh, uh, RON or more, they have to meet a, a much more stringent uh, quality control. Uh, obviously, in SO's case, they, obviously it seems to have escaped that uh, quality control, but that's um, obviously part of the reason I do these tests and uh, to make sure that obviously the fuel we're using in our uh, classic cars or uh, performance cars aren't going to be damaged by uh, sort of the uh, false advertised um, octane ratings and on classics especially don't really want to be putting uh, an ethanol blended fuel uh, into it especially if it's something you only use at uh, like weekends or spends a lot of time in storage and that with uh, with ethanol set, sat in the tanks not a good idea but uh, the good thing here is we know that the BP Ultimate exceeds 97 octane uh, so you're good in that case uh, and most people who get maps which take full advantage by having a timing advance and that needing the highest octane fuels tend to go for the uh, Shell V power and uh, Tesco momentum anyway, so they probably wouldn't use BP Ultimate uh, in that case. But uh, yeah, as long as uh, if your car needs even 98, you could obviously still still risk using this. 
and uh, also it's ethanol free because the uh, octane reader would be reading 110 um, Ron if it had ethanol in it. it doesn't mean it's 110 octane it's just what the reader will show as a uh, because it can't read it accurately if it's got ethanol in there I also want to say a huge thank you to all my subscribers and to anyone who's contributed to the channel over the past year I uh, hope you all have a great Christmas uh, like last year I will be continuing the Christmas car chase uh, series so expect to see one or two videos uh, uploaded each day over the 12 days of Christmas uh, but for now uh, Merry Christmas and I'll see you in the new year thanks very much for watching